Darius Carter, throughout the night, you have countlessly violated the Frog Sport Code of Conduct, uh, adding insult to injury by also taking personal items from the opponents you defeat in a vicious fashion. Uh, why are you doing this? You know, you ask questions, I ask questions. You know, I show up at Frog Sport, and instead of you discussing how I won, you know, some of the skills that I utilized, because I use my catcher's catch can ability, instead of you talking about that, some of the technique, this is what you do. You know, so every time, everywhere we go, you have a conflict with me. You have disrespect. Maybe you're representing these people. Disrespect, and don't speak. Don't speak. You had your chance to speak. You see what speaks loudest? This is this is this. Oh, I'm collected. I'm not just beating people here. See, these people need to understand. This isn't just, oh, a show, one-off show. Oh, let's just do frog sport and just fight, and then next time it's kumbaya. I need to take something from them so they understand the severity of this. This is not a game to me. This is not a joke to me. I am here on a mission. Okay, I'm here to restore value to the professional wrestling name, and I have to do that at this camp. See, Mikowski, Mikowski is a tremendous professional wrestler. If I didn't exist, he'd be the most dangerous man on the roster. But the problem is, is that man, when you ask him to dress up, he dresses up. When you ask him to act goofy, he acts goofy, okay? I am committed to the cause. Ask Saber Dorado. <laughs> ask little Abby, little door-to-door, -door, little cookie saleswoman, little girl. Huh? Abby and Janai Kai. And then you say, well, what am I going to take from Mikowski? What am I going to take from Mikowski? I'm going to take blood sport. I'm going to take frog sport from Mikowski. Whatever sport he wants to have, and whatever first syllable, second, it's all mine. And only then will you understand how serious this is to me, how much this means to me, what fuels me to win. That is when you will understand, and your questions will change, your line of questioning will change, you will respect me. No. You will revere me. <sighs> Matt Mikowski, in light of Darius Carter's comments just now, uh, threatening to take away from you in the same way that he did to his three previous opponents tonight, what is your strategy going into the final round of Frog Sport? My strategy? <clears throat> Well, my strategy is to kick Darius Carter's ass. Uh, I, you know, I feel like I've been preparing for this my whole life, right? Well, at least half a lifetime. I notice he's, he's taken something from all his opponents. But he's not going to be able to take anything from me. Because I'm going to give Darius Carter everything I got. Okay, Sam? Thank you very much, Matt. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. Tall, weighing in at 209 pounds, fighting out of New Canaan, Connecticut, wrestling's richest prize, the All Father, Mr. Darius Carter. And his opponent. Standing at 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in 
Joe Nebraska back with you for the ultimate fight of the evening, dare I say, the Frog Sport Championship Finals. Darius Carter, Matt Mikowski, one on one. This is what we've been anticipating throughout the entire broadcast. You saw Darius Carter during the introductions step on the belongings, the trophies of sorts of his prior victims throughout this tournament symbolically kicking them to the side and erasing their hopes and dreams. Tentative start thus far. Both these men entering their fourth Frog Sport fight of the day. The time limits have increased as we've gone through the day and so has the quality of competition. From Blackstrom Violence and Yoya for Matt Mikowski, Abby Jane Saber Dorado, and Janai Kai for Darius Carter. It's a reversal by Carter into the front chancery. Two very distinct styles in this battle. The catch style of Carter, a much more traditional grappling or wrestling style. Uh, Mikowski can go a lot of different ways. Muay Thai, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, and what he considers technical brawling which may sound like a little bit of a misnomer or an oxymoron, but it just plays to the versatility and the range that Mikowski has as he now has a mount and is uh, reining him with the palm strikes uh, from the blind side on Carter. Mikowski showing dominance in the early moments. Carter has had the advantage in this tournament of a psychological edge. I think he's been able to get in his, the heads of his opponents a little more quickly and a little more deeply than Mikowski has. And Mikowski going for the cross arm breaker. Notice Carter shifts his weight to be above Mikowski, negates Mikowski's leverage, and now tries to take him over to a half crab. I love the struggle. I love the, the game of inches, so to speak. We've seen a number of times throughout this tournament. There's a bit of a stalemate there only going. You can see the respect from the other fighters and, and the other competitors that were in non-tournament matches earlier on. Uh, nobody's left here. They're, they're all gathered around this ring to see just who, who the alpha athlete is. Carter picks the leg. Mikowski... Uh, one in for a side round kick. Carter playing great defense. Watch out for those knees. So that Muay Thai coming into play. Carter, yeah, Carter's gonna want to keep Mikowski on the map. Look for that half crab again. But notice Mikowski uh, just curl up like a ball, wouldn't let Carter outstretch. Uh, the spine and, and the, the core of Mikowski to, to get the the placement he needed there. And Mikowski uh, maybe looking for a knee bar again or a heel hook. We, we've seen Mikowski focus on that knee bar uh, in the prior round to great success. And we've seen a number of athletes um, from all sorts of disciplines showcase different strategies, different styles, and it really is just uh, almost Darwinian, almost a war of attrition as far as who and what wins out. Mikowski on top and, and Carter's reaching for a chancery. Some way to get out of this. I want to thank Brotherly Love Wrestling once again at 215 Wrestling on the social medias. And Mikowski, look at that Splash Mountain. We saw that uh, effective as well in the prior round. Mikowski it gets caught in a rear naked choke. He tried to roll through, but the grip of Carter was too strong. He held on and rolled with it. And Mikowski maybe faded. Notice Mikowski's a hold of the right wrist of Carter. Carter cannot cinch in that hold fully. Carter's trying to, to free the grip on that hand with his right leg. Mikowski rolls forward before the body scissors get cinched in. Great defense by Mikowski, who's now once again in a dominant position and raining in those palm strikes. 
Oh. Carter grabs a single leg again, but notice Bukowski uh, plants his left foot behind him to keep it out of reach of Carter. Now roll through in the Kimura, and now the scissors applied as well. This is going to affect Carter's mobility in an attempt to roll out of the Kimura, and uh, puts him quite susceptible here. Into the rope, and we get a break. We don't get a break, but we get uh, the leverage of Carter using the ropes to necessitate a break on his own. It's, it's, it's KO submission or ref stoppage. You're not gonna, you're not gonna get a disqualification here unless there's something excessively egregious. I would think headlock takeover. Nicely done. Let's see if the catch style of Carter comes into play. Will he take a trophy? of Matt Mikowski home with him in addition to the Frog Sport Trophy. And Los Carter has the left arm trapped of Mikowski and had that head exposed to rain down. Mikowski escapes and again that, that rear mount of Mikowski has, has worked out well for him. He's been able to slip behind Carter a number of times and at that point Carter's almost defenseless. He has no choice but to just cover up and just, just find a way out uh, as best he can. Next ah. great find, and Mikowski, uh, again, those shoulders were down, but that doesn't affect here. Mikowski, back to the knee bar, and now twisting at the ankle moving down uh, is Carter, and, and the ankle lock submission. But notice uh, Mikowski got such a great adept knowledge of where to place his body to take away the leverage. He rolls in, he rolls around, he rolls through, and now uh, Carter looking for the cross arm breaker, again clasping the hands together. Mikowski, this would be a pinfall in a standard wrestling match, but ain't nothing standard about Camp Leapfrog, I guarantee it, especially Frog Sport. Mikowski on top, and Carter is using his forearms to try to push the face and head away from his own body. The further away Mikowski is, the, the less advantageous this grip is going to be. And then Carter was able to duck out of the way for the most part. That last palm strike. And I would give maybe a slight advantage to Mikowski so far because of just his ability to slip in and around so many maneuvers. But again, Carter has had a mental edge so much here. Mikowski's fighting for family. And Carter is fighting, I think, in many ways for selfish reasons. To prove he's the richest prize in professional wrestling, in frog sport, any fighting style you want to claim. Carter on top right now is these uh, incredible athletes around the ring continue to show their respect what they've seen and what a gut check this is hard to believe that one of these men will fall by the end of the night oh Mikowski has Carter just tied up into a ball here you notice the legs positioned uh, around the body, the torque applied around the neck, and Carter was, was just trapped tightly there. Mikowski just like almost like a, a, a death grip all around uh, Carter, who now turns into a very tight STF. Just the back and forth nature of this matchup, how quickly the advantage can go from one side to another, just incredible. Mikowski escapes the STF and and you're seeing, honestly, I mean, there's so many different styles and there's so many different nuances to, to pro wrestling these days. But, you know, bottom line, you're seeing uh, the basics 
the fundamentals that this industry was built on in this tournament. You're seeing just uh, uh, the, the sweet science, the human game of chess in so many different ways. Just, you know, a, a swing of the hips, a, a shift of the body. Just so many small, subtle things that you may take for granted. And there you see uh, some things people take for granted are the ring ropes, but they can hurt when your body's being bent across them in the opposite way it's meant to go. And oftentimes, it's the little thing that you don't notice that makes the difference between a win and a loss. And I think Mikowski and Carter both have shown that throughout this tournament, especially Mikowski and... Uh -oh. Carter steps down on the point of the elbow. And you could snap a forearm, you could break a wrist bone. Just the awkward angle that that, that arm hit the canvas. And now Carter goes back for that cross arm break with the arm weakened now. It may weaken the grip of Mikowski and his ability to counter this. If Carter can cinch this, if he can bend back, get the full extension of that arm, this, this fight may be over. And just as I say that, Mikowski swings the weight back on top, reining in with the right. Carter on the defense. Her naked choke by Mikowski. He's got it all in. We saw this countered. Earlier in the fight, but now it is Mikowski who's got it in full. It did not work for Carter, and it only worked for a moment for Mikowski. And a figure four leg lock. And again, that's the more traditional aspect of pro wrestling. And this move puts pressure on seven different points of the lower human anatomy. You are essentially attempting to break your opponent's leg across his other leg. It's an incredible amount of pain when it's cinched in right and able to bridge up the body. That's what you pull those ropes for. It's not legal traditionally, but you're trying to bridge up your own body to put more pressure downward on the leg you're bending in both these men. Just topple to the outside. You see there's no protection. That is grass and dirt and earth. And this could be a very dangerous situation if we don't get these athletes back in the ring as soon as possible. You are not going to see the finals of Frog Sport in a double countout, I assure you. Kowski's back in first. Thankfully, both athletes are, are able to get back in safely and... Fight continues. They are both still standing. What an incredible final this has been. We certainly hope you guys have enjoyed the very first ever Frog Sport. It has been a grueling afternoon and evening that uh, these competitors have, have been involved in. Shake it off, Shake it off. You just hear the impact of those shots. Carter was getting the upper hand in a striking game, which I would not have expected based on Mikowski's pack of a Mikowski, the roundhouse kick. You can see Carter's daze on his feet, glazed over look in his eyes. And Mikowski. This matchup opens up. He has a big opportunity in a cross arm breaker. A beautiful transition. Will look to be a burning hammer, a driver of some sort. As Carter was crashing down, Mikowski grabbed the arm, and there was nothing Darius could do at that point. And Darius is able to counter once again, get to his feet. The trapping of the shoulders would be a pinfall attempt in a normal matchup, not here. Carter has to kick his way free. Well, some of these seamless and rapid-fire counters and, and transitions and combos have been breathtaking. A different approach, a Fujiwara-style armbar now. Into the cross face, Mikowski finds himself flat in his face for maybe the first time in this fight. Kind of wrench in the arm. Could this be perhaps a Rings of Saturn variation? You can see Mikowski struggling. Almost a, a modified uh, knuckle lock. 
and Mikowski would not let Carter. Carter's trying to wrap his leg around the arm of Mikowski to get that lever to stretch it back, and Mikowski would be, he'd be done. He'd be toast, trapped. But Mikowski has great forward thinking, great ingenuity, did not let that happen. He sensed he'd be in a, a, a desperate situation there. And both these men are tired. I don't think either of uh, those strikes from either side were the best we've seen in this fight. But maybe the most desperate, maybe the most urgent we've seen. As both are down, and both are looking to dig down deep. One will survive. This is Matt Makowski's namesake, this tournament. But it's become Darius Carter's trophy case. Only one can survive this fight. I've seen this struggle and Carter breaking out some weak tie like these. Imagine if he could defeat Makowski at his own game. Maybe stealing Makowski's spring style would be a form of a trophy that nobody would forget. Exertion. These men are, are putting forth here. As we're at about the 15 minute mark of this fight, maybe a little bit over it. And you see Darius is rubber legged. He tried to keep his balance off of the kick. And Darius, did he go to the eyes? Many of these fighters around the ring did not like what they saw. It looked like Darius was dangerously close to the eyes. The referee uh, was powerless to do anything, really. But that just shows you perhaps some desperation setting in. And this matchup has opened up in a big way from the ground and mat exchanges to a potential superplex attempt by Mikowski. Slips underneath the legs of Carter. Caught Carter with a high kick. That round kick caught Carter right in the temple. And if there's one place you don't want to get dizzy, it's on the second or top turnbuckle. Mikowski has Carter in very dangerous territory. Off the top end of the cross arm breaker, and that's it! Imagine the pain of getting your arm wrenched from eight or ten feet in the air, crashing down into the grip. The jaws of lifelike grip of Matt Makowski. Matt Makowski has lived up to the namesake, lived up to the reputation, and lived up to the, the honorable code of conduct and the toughness and the grit that comes with this tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. This has been Frog Sport. Congratulations, Matt. You have represented the campers of Camp Leapfrog very well in Frog Sports. Congratulations to you. But now, I have one question. Can you truly be a god? Can you truly be immortal if you haven't beat the Thunder God? For now, you are just a warrior. You are not god like Thunderfrog. So prepare for destruction, cause Thunder God is coming and you will suffer. It will be flawless victory. Wow, we! Now you will prove yourself to a thunder god. Ha 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 ha! Wow, we!